Hey everyone, welcome to the next Science 8 review video. This is going to be covering longitude and time. So back in the day they had a big problem. There was a lot of train traveling going on, but the problem is there was different time zones in the United States that were totally not lined up together. So people didn't really understand how to catch their trains at the right time. So you could see in this picture, these were the time zones at the time that were created to catch trains. And they're a little bit of a mess. They cut through different states a lot. There's all these zigzaggies in the middle. So this was a mess. So they decided to revamp them. And in 1918, these are the time zones that they created. And this is what it is today as well. So here's New York, just to give you a little preview of what we're going to be talking about here. And here's California over here. And you might have heard of this. We are in the Eastern time zone. EST stands for Eastern. This is the central time zone, all the red. This is mountain time in the brown, and this is Pacific time in the blue. You might have heard like um, Pacific time set on your TV shows or something like that. So here's the idea. Each time zone you, you jump if you go west. So here's your compass, north, south, east, west. As you go west, each time zone, you drop the time by an hour. So for example, say it's uh, 12 o'clock p.m. Eastern. That's the whole green area. In the red area, that would mean you're going west, so the time in the red area is 11 a.m., an hour before. And then in the mountain time would be an hour before that. So it's 10 a.m., which means in the California state, it would be 9 a.m., because that's an hour before the mountain time. And California is three hours behind New York. See, they're at 9 a.m., we're at 12 p.m. So you could do this for any example. Now, you could also do the opposite. If you were going east, you would increase by one hour. So this is plus one hour if you're going east, minus one hour each time you go west. Okay. Now, how did they figure out where to divide these time zones? That's what we're going to talk about today. So it's actually based on lines of longitude, which are the lines that go up and down. Every place on the same line of longitude are in the same longitudinal zone here, because the longitude lines go like this. They all have the same time. That's why we, New York, have the same time as Florida. We're in the same longitudinal zone, this green area. So when you fly to Florida, you don't change your time. Or if you have family in Florida, they're at the same time as you. But if you have family in California, they have different time than you. If you have family overseas in like Italy or Spain or something, they have a different time than you. They're ahead of you because they're east. So the lines of longitude are based on the Earth's rotation. We rotate west to east, like in this little uh, picture down here, which is counterclockwise. We're rotating this way. Now, since we rotate one full spin in 24 hours, one full spin is 360 degrees and there's 24 hours in a day, that means that we are actually moving 15 degrees every hour that goes by. This is actually how they came up with the time zones. So, if the Earth rotates at 15 degrees per hour, then for every 15 degrees of longitude, you change the time by an hour. So they figured, okay, we'll, we'll start at the prime meridian, which we talked about was the main line of longitude here. So maybe one day they were like, all right, it's 12 p.m. here. Every 15 degrees east they go, 15, 30, 45, 60, you got to increase the time by one hour. So this is 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m. And then as you go west, time will get less. So you take away an hour. So this is 11 a.m., 10 a.m., 9, 8. 7, 6, 5, 4, blah, 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 blah. So these lines of longitude gave us our time zones. So there's 24 total time zones because they're each an hour apart and there's 24 hours in a day. And anyone in that same longitudinal zone, like I said, is going to have the same time. So like Wyoming here and Arizona, they're in the same time zone, so it's the same time. But Wyoming and Texas are an hour apart because they're one time zone apart. So this is a little trick to remember. If you go west, time will get less. 
as you go east, time will increase. And it's always by one hour, and it's always every 15 degrees. This is another little trick. Wheel west earlier, east later. As you go west, the time gets earlier. As you go east, the time gets later. Okay. So this is like a world map here, so you could see. Here's New York, right here. And each of these shaded areas is one of the time zones. So if it's like 12 p.m. here, that means this is 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3, 4, 5, 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., 9 p.m., etc. And this would be 11 a.m., 10 in the morning, 9 in the morning, 8 in the morning. So let's do a couple questions. Two students record a difference in local time of four hours. They are have a four-hour difference. So the question is, how many degrees of longitude apart are they? Remember, it's 15 degrees per one hour. So if there's four hours difference, how many degrees are there? So if you do 15 times four equals 60 degrees, they're 60 degrees apart. All right, now you're gonna do one. Let's do two students record a difference in time of two hours. So if they're two hours time apart, how many degrees are they apart? Remember, it's 15 degrees per hour, so you do 15 times two, so this would be 30 degrees apart. Let's do another one. It's 4 p.m. where you are, and it's 12 p.m. in Greenwich, England. What is your longitude? So this one's a little trickier. Greenwich, England is zero degrees. And it's 4 p.m. where you are. It's 12 p.m. in Greenwich, England. So watch this. You're going to draw your some a line of longitude. There's your zero degree. That's the prime meridian. And it says it's 12 p.m. here. So we're going to write 12 p.m. It's 4 p.m. where you are. So would that mean you're east or west of the prime meridian? Is your time later? Because it's later the east and earlier in the west. If you're at 4 p.m., that means you're at a later time. So you're somewhere over here. Remember, east increase, west is less. So now, how many lines of longitude would be in between 12 and 4? Remember, it's 15 degrees per one hour. So we would go 12 p.m., here's a 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., and there we are, 4 p.m. This is us. So we have to figure out where is this? Well, zero, so it goes 15 degrees east, 30 degrees east, 45 degrees east. So we're at 60 degrees east. So it's like a three-step process here. You gotta figure out which side of the prime meridian you are on, east or west. Figure out how many lines of 15 is in between you and them, and then get the longitude. Let's try another one. Let's say, let's say it's um, 10 a.m. at zero degrees longitude. And it's 8 a.m. where you are. What is your longitude? So see if you can get an answer, and then I'll go over how to do it. Okay, so it's 10 a.m. at zero degrees. So we're going to draw a line, zero degrees. It's 10 a.m. It's 8 a.m. where we are. Does that mean I'm west or east of the prime meridian? Remember, the west is earlier, east is later. Well, it's 8 a.m. by me. That's 8 in the morning. That's earlier, so it's somewhere over here. We're two hours apart. So we got to have two lines in between. So 10 a.m., this is going to be one line, and there's two. Because here would be 9 a.m., right? So then we just count. Each line is 15 degrees. So this is 15 degrees west of the prime meridian, and here's 30 degrees west. So we are at 30 degrees west. Okay. Uh, let's do one more just for fun. We'll pick one of these. Let's do number five. 
It's 2 o'clock p.m. at the Prime Meridian, and you're located at 30 degrees west. What time is it where you are? Okay. Well, first we draw Prime Meridian. It's 2 o'clock p.m. here. And I'm at 30 degrees west, so I'm west of the Prime Meridian. 15 degrees, 30 degrees. I'm here. They want to know what time is it where we are. Well, this is west. As you go west, time will get less. So here's 2 p.m. This is 1 p.m., which means it is 12 p.m. at this spot. Okay? So there's just a couple questions. So the big thing to take away from this is that the time zones are created because of lines of longitude. Okay? All right. I hope you're having a good day, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.